Oh, welcome back to Let's Play Catechumen. I'm D Stex. And I'm Best Friend Skull. This is my new co commentator. Hiya. <laughs> you wanna. So, yeah, wanna... what is so... even going on? <laughs> uh, what's been going on? Uh, a lot more of the same. There isn't really a, a plot in Catechumen that you can see. I've actually, uh, the people watching this, you don't know, but, uh, I have recorded a lot of this stuff ahead of time, so right now, right now, uh, only, up, only up to level 4 is public, but we're doing level 7 here. Yeah, so, so I, I'm a little bit lost. You haven't, you're, uh, I don't know, oh, trust me, you, uh, wait. uh, no, he, he's, he's been around, the, some of the videos, uh, As this, yeah. uh, I, I've just been genuinely this is a new weapon. This, this game's method of storytelling is just all over the damn place. Well, there isn't there isn't any uh, th there isn't really any storytelling. It just sort of throws you into these new rooms. And you gotta yeah <laughs> figure out what you're doing. <laughs> I just gotta deal with and, it and to have that happen. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, so this is the new weapon we just got in the last level, which you haven't seen that episode yet. It's the it's the double necked sword. It's the for shredding excellent solos. Ah. And it's it, it's the lightning gun from Quake. A, a lot of these weapons are just it's. Well, this is just the rail gun from Quake. Rail, rail, uh, rail sword, machine sword, lightning. Gun. Yeah. Pretty much everything is just it's just replaced gun with sword. Oh yeah. <laughs> and specifically like Quake too. Like, that it it's. Did you ever play like any of the Quake games, like Quake Three? Maybe? Um, I think a... I played Quake One for a little bit when I was six, and it may yeah. have mildly traumatized me. But uh, other than that, I don't think okay. so. Oh, anyway, this is a bit where I'm showing something off here. This is uh the scrolls. If you look closely at the texture, this is something I didn't notice right away. It says I'm tr I'm getting in for closer because I thought I was gonna pick it up and I didn't want to pick it up, but I've got full health anyway. Did that so be it's it's specifically it says it says the Book of Revelations, oh. which is it's a great it's a it's a double whammy because when you pick it up, it shows you a Bible passage. Except we've been getting lots of Bible passages that aren't from the Book of Revelation. <laughs> yeah, you've been the kidding. second part. It's called the Book of Revelation. Yes, like, it's, it, it's it's not. I don't even think actually yeah. like I might be going into like weird ass history here, but I but I don't think Revelations was even written at the time that this was going on. Uh, uh <laughs> probably not. Or this is I think this. I think the idea is that it's contemporary with the writing of it, and that's why it's the Book of Revelation here. But it's not it's not plural, and you'd think that, I mean, they're making a Christian video game. They, of, these, of all people, should get it. Yeah. Well, yeah I, th then again, it's sort of an they're kind of right with this thing. But then again, you did just kill a, do a little mini devil thing, so I guess I shouldn't really be looking killed, for a very smelly Who is just somersaulting all over the place. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I just, you ever see that video? Uh, just for curiosity, uh, like, who are you fighting here? <laughs> oh, demons. Like, the, the, min the legions uh, of hell. Uh, I... or, or you mean this enemy? Be because they, uh, they don't want me to save the dude from the intro cinematic. Who got, who is, he, he, it's never actually said who he is. He might be an apostle. He might be, like, an elder in the Christian Oh, if you didn't notice there, we couldn't just go down that ramp. We had to crouch. Like it, it, the playtesting was that lackluster. Okay, so that, that is they just screw a, this that up. That is just a bug. All right, I was about to ask why, but okay. Yeah, I had to crouch. That's a bug. <gasps> oh shoot. <gasps> and, oh yeah, we're about to die here. Oh, good. One of those. <sighs> yeah, just a random shooting gallery from above. This is fair. I think there's there's one other time the game pulls it off, and that time I just run for it, and I. I'm not gonna lie. In some of these cases, I was sort of depending on a walkthrough <laughs> from Game Facts. There's a walkthrough. That like this person. Oh yeah, someone made this this, and I think this person, it, from their tone, they liked it. And it's got it's got like an ASCII image of a Roman soldier and everything. It's great. Wow. wow. I can send you the link after we record. Uh, but yeah, I was actually I was kind of dependent on the walkthrough to know like, is this a time where I'm supposed to fight them or am I supposed to run? <laughs> and there's actually some times where you're supposed to fight them that I just ran. Yeah, I kind of don't want. I don't want to spoil it though. I don't want to reveal what it is going to be. Because it's kind of a. There's a moment later where. It's anyway. So. Anyway, yeah, it's. A book of Revelation. Yeah, not. Yeah, I like it, yeah. It, it, and particularly considering that you pick up a scroll of the Book of Revelation and then it just blinds up. <gasps> 
<laughs> yeah. Also, who scattered these scrolls from the Book of Revelation everywhere? I have no idea. Like, but when I first saw them, like, I thought they might be, like, as some kind of, like, reference to Dead Sea Scrolls, but apparently not. Yeah? No, the Revelation is way, 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 way after the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, yeah, I, I well, of and course. Here's I our just... doorbell that we pressed to open a door. Anyway, yes. Uh, sorry for... Uh, there's like, there's kind of a lot. weird little thing that I like to think about every now and then when I'm, when I'm watching this, because, like, you're... Your ammo pickups are another sword entirely, so I like to think that Gabriel or whoever the hell that that uh, dancing angel is that pops up, just after he pops it pops into you, he sort of he goes like, you know, actually that thing has a limited amount of energy, so I'm just gonna scatter these millions of really really priceless artifacts everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> or just hope none of the Roman soldiers pick them up and use them, because then then you're fucked. Oh yeah. Like, then. <laughs> Well, like it's it, it, maybe it's only the chosen one can it can wield it or whatever the hell. Or, or yeah, or maybe see them or or, or even that. But and, the, but and the chosen one, we're, we're not even like a we're like a, a new guy. Like that's like the name of the title. Is like you're just like an initiate into the Christian Ed, community. Evidently, the chosen one can't jump. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I couldn't pull off that jump for whatever reason. I don't know why. I can't get on top of this tomb. God has chosen me, but I don't know why. <laughs> Now, do you hear it too? That it sounds like like the jumping is the only time you hear the catechumen talking. And I'm pretty sure it's the same voice actor as Link from the the Philips CDI games. Yeah, you mentioned that before, and I do hear the similarity yeah, I did. a little bit. You hear it? I'm <laughs> almost certain it's the same guy. I the the problem is I it I've, I've beaten the game already, and the credits the actors aren't credited to the role. It's just the list of all the names like they do in some video games, which pisses me off because. I will admit I can't blame them for wanting to go uncredited. <laughs> yeah, one of them I'm one one of them is I, I'm almost certain it's the lead designer's wife because it's a woman with the same last name as the the or I think it was the producer actually or his sister one of the two. So yeah. Oh, and and some of the actors are absolutely developers. Like, uh, oh well, that happened all the time back then. Like they, yeah. System Shock Two had they had mm -hmm. nothing but uh, developers yeah. as voice actors. Yeah, but. It's not like this was some cheapo indie game. Guess how much? Guess how much money went into the making of this game? Uh, it's it's known. It's a publicly known number. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess due to the fact that you're asking. I'm, I'm gonna guess like fifty thousand. It seems like a fifty thousand. Eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars for a Christian Quake clone. I that I did not misspeak. The budget of the game is eight was eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars. My question is, where the fuck did that money go? And where the fuck did it come I, from? Who sponsored this? Well, I I think oh this oh this is something I just I brought up in uh, the level six episode. Basically, this was developed in the late nineties, and base it got its funding because Doom became a real flashpoint of controversy after Columbine, and there was uh, basically a whole, uh, some investors decided that a shooter that didn't have gore, like, that could be the acceptable substitute for people who wanted to play Doom but were scared off of it because it's like, oh, it'll desensitize you to violence. Like, they thought that there would be a market for this kind of a game. I've got it. That they, yeah. I've got to admit really quickly that, that, that uh, a game in which you shoot lasers to make Romans convert to Catholicism <gasps> has a surprising amount of controversy behind it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah, because this is like so much more acceptable, but I mean, they, apparently they'd actually been shopping around this game premise for a number of years. <laughs> and it was only after Columbine that any investors were like, yeah, this could make money. Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah, $860,000. $860,000 like, for laser shooting Jesus stuff. And, I mean, this is not a long game. Like, this is about a five-hour game. About the same length as Call of Duty, and, uh, I'm gonna say not, not quite the same production values. I mean, like, even for its day. Like I said, like, this came out two years after Half-Life, and Half-Life... Yeah, and two years after System like, Shock this... 2 as well. Like, I've actually never played through the yeah. original Half-Life, but, mm -hmm. like, with... But, like, oh, it's quite good. my it's, comparison would be System eight, Shock yeah. 2, and just, like... Yeah. Like, graphically, sure, it's a little bit more impressive, because things' mouths actually can move. Uh, but mm -hmm. the... But, like, everything else, like, the sound design in this game is... Eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars for a game. For a it game looks like a mod. I think the textures. I think it looks like a mod, don't you? Yeah, like, it, looks, it looks looks a little like it. Like, it, like yeah. I'm just wondering. Like eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Yet they didn't take the time and effort to make it so that when you went into it, 
fade in when you went into the lion. <laughs> yeah, or that the doors would stay open when you're trying to go through them. Or that the textures wouldn't look like schmeary garbage. Like, I, I know, the only, if, or the, or, with the door right there, I, I, I'm just thinking, wait, 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 they had automatic sliding doors in ancient Rome? Yeah, in ancient Rome. <laughs> yeah, that was one of their, that was, that was one of the innovations that was lost at, during the Dark Ages. Yeah, uh, that's a little known fact. Uh, yeah. They also had gigantic doorbells like that. And uh, well, well, you said before that they had the steam engine, so. Yeah, well, no, that was the Greeks. The Greeks oh, had the it. Greeks the Romans it. never used it. Because it was really just one dude. It was really just one oh. dude. Oh, oh, this is actually the end of the level. Uh, oh, oh, hi there. Kinda... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the next uh, angel. Um, Jeez. Well, this kind of sucks because it actually took a lot of setup to get this to work. So. Okay, uh, I think, well, we might as well stop recording now, anyway. Yep. I'm going to say uh, this is D-Stack signing off. Yep, and this is Best Friend Skull.